When I say bananas, you say peppers. And today we are gonna be deep diving into something that once again, I have not opened for I don't know how long, 10 years, 12 years, 14 years. Today, I've got some old stinky, gross looking wallets. I'm sorry to say that right in front of you guys' face, but y'all enjoyed so much when I opened up that yellow bag. I think it was a Kipling bag. We did this, I don't know, like six months ago maybe, and I actually had a lot of fun like going down memory lane, looking through it, and you guys really seemed to enjoy the video as well. Um, also, today you guys like kind of practicing. I don't know, I'll just explain it because this, might help some somebody out there. I don't know, somebody else out there might feel this way. I'm not sure if it's an anxiety thing. Uh, when I used to feel this way as a kid, I literally just thought that I was crazy. Like I didn't really know what to attribute this to. Basically what I'm trying to say is this is like an exercise for me to get over some mental blockage that I have in my mind. Sometimes I have such a deep fear and superstition of like wearing certain things, touching certain things, opening certain things. Like I have so much stuff just like set aside in boxes in like a storage room because it's like I'm too afraid to get rid of it. I'm too afraid to touch it. But like also I feel like I have to keep it. I don't know. Sometimes I have really superstitious, irrational fears. It was pretty bad when I was in my probably like the most severe when I was like in my late teens, like I would all the time avoid like wearing certain makeup I wanted to wear or wearing certain jewelry or certain clothes that I wanted to wear because I would like get superstitious and think that if I put it on like something bad would happen. Just crazy stuff with like no correlation whatsoever. I feel like for like many, 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 many years, it's been something I've tried to work on where I'm like, oh, if I wanna wear something, I'm just gonna wear it. If I'm gonna open something, I'm just gonna open it. Some days it's like better, some days it's worse because obviously I do still like hang on to stuff. I don't know. Is that helpful for anybody out there? Probably not. Basically what I'm trying to say is like slowly but surely I have been able to not let these feelings affect me so much. Like I am more like liberal and just getting over it and like wearing what I want to wear. Um like regardless of these silly feelings that I get. This is a very, very convoluted intro, but basically what we're gonna do is look at these super old wallets. I have no idea what's inside of them. Let's start out with this one, which I probably carried this wallet. I don't even know for how many years. There's a chance that I still had this at some point when I first started my YouTube channel. If any of you guys have been dedicated Swamp Fam from day one, if y'all remember this being in like one of my very first like what's in my bag or what's in my backpack videos, maybe this is familiar. I don't know. I got this from Urban Outfitters and I thought it was so cool at the time because when I first got it, it was like a little worn, but this is definitely a lot of my own wear and tear. So the patina is lovely. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> so right in here, we have a picture of Dogman and I. This used to be my favorite picture of us ever of all time. We went to Dallas like pretty quick after we first started dating. So I think that this was like kind of our first official photo together. We went to this place in Dallas that I don't know if it still exists. It was called Deep Ellum. We just took a bunch of couples pictures cause why the heck not? Then I have a penny that Dogman got for me forever ago in Savannah, Georgia. And it's a flat penny. It says, I love you. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to read that or not. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is my freaking old, my very first U of H student ID. I don't know why I still have this sticker on there, but look at that. It was like a weird credit card thing. So yeah, I don't know. It's like a MasterCard student ID. I also have an I voted sticker. I wonder what election this was. And then shockingly enough, I have two Urban Outfitters tags. I don't know if anybody else is like this, but I always, usually always, especially if it's like a bag or something, I always keep the price tag inside of the item somewhere. I don't know what this came off of because this says Raspberry $16. 
but I think this is how much the wallet was because this looks carbon colored, $24. And then here are some super old looking Urban Outfitters hang tags. That was all that was in this little like front section. Okay, now let's see what's lurking back here because I see some like wads of paper. Okay, this is like an old business card. Oh my God, this was my friend. Let me just show you what I can. I don't want to like dox anybody or give away anybody's information because I have not talked to her in forever. But this was a friend that I made when uh, Dogman and I were doing community theater. She played Belle for our production of Beauty and the Beast, but she was the very first hairstylist to put black in my hair like a million years ago. That's amazing. Oh my God, this is another super tragic blast from the past. I used to love this so much. So American Apparel, before they went out of business, they had their own online radio streaming service. And I feel like this was such a huge part of my life because it really kind of introduced indie music to my mind. It's like how I discovered like Gorilla vs. Bear, which is still like my favorite music blog today. They had all these DJs and they would make all this really cool programming with like super weird random songs. I remember like my favorite DJ, his name was Electro Adolescent. I loved it so much. This is called Viva Radio, but I'm so, so sad that when they went out of business, I think they're back in business is like an online business, but like when they had all of their stores and stuff, uh, when that went out of business, Viva Radio disappeared as well, which just really sucks. Like I kind of wish somebody else would have taken that over because it was so amazing and all the DJs were so, I can't, I could make a whole video about that. I don't know what this is. This is like maybe a note or something. Calcite Iceland Spar 3 Carbonate. <laughs> what does that mean? At one point I was taking a like um, geology class maybe. I think calcite is like a stone. Clearly I didn't learn anything. I have a ticket uh, probably for some raffle that I didn't win. And then I think that UCC print connection. Yeah, I think this is like the copier card that we used to have to have and swipe at U of H to print out anything that we needed. So yeah, I don't talk about college much, but I did go to U of H. I graduated from Uni University of Houston. Also, I have a heart in here from Build-A-Bear, probably one of the times a million years ago that Dogman and I went, and it says, I love you. So cute, still just a little bit puffy. I am going to pull out all of these cards and show you guys the ones that I can that obviously like aren't you know. And I also have to delete some files to make some space on this thing. So I'll see you in just a second. All right, um, we have a library card, a gas card, a, a Walgreens card. What is this, like a membership card? And we have this, which is pretty cool. It's like a yearly pass that we had to this awesome place called Moody Gardens, which is in Galveston. Uh, like with this membership pass, you could go see a bunch of like IMAXs and stuff like that. So this expired in 2009. And then we just have some moments of history. We have a Twilight Hot Topic gift card and it's even a little bit sparkly. Wow, this is amazing. I wonder if there's any stuff on it. Ooh, and then the greatest piece of history of all is my old Blockbuster <laughs> membership card. This is so much fun, honestly. Oh my God, I miss Blockbuster. It sucks like how many old businesses are just gone now. Did you guys hear? I guess now Forever 21 is going out of business. Crazy. We have a pile of garbage in here. I don't, what is this? Um, okay, this literally just has like a bunch of people's phone numbers on it. So probably shouldn't show that. Don't know who these people are. Then we have a, an old Hot Topic frequent buyer card. I think they just do all this stuff digitally now with like phone numbers and everything. I don't think anybody in the world has like stamp and punch cards anymore. Sunday, March 12th, 2006. We went to the Houston Ballet. It's a shame it doesn't say what show this was but God, 2006, maybe this is older than I thought. That's crazy. I have a Jamba Juice Jamba card. 
I have a Chili's gift card. I literally wonder if any of these gift cards have anything on them anymore. We have some Chick-fil-A chicken coupons, like buy four, get one free. I don't think they do this anymore either. Um, and it sucks because both of these were filled up. Why did I not get these free chicken sandwiches? I should try and like take these to Chick-fil-A and be like, do you still accept these? They're 14 years old, but should still be good, right? Target gift card, a Target credit card that I had, a old um, healthcare card. That's gross. And a Panera card. Oh boy, a receipt that's just too disgusting to even open up and see what it is. Oh my gosh. I think that this was like a um, tattoo artist recommendation, Mainline Ink. I wonder if that studio still exists. And I have a little note of money that at one time I had set aside for Dogman to get a flu shot. I used to always call him Puppy, so it says Puppy's Flu Shot. And I used to like always um, wrap up money in my wallet with post-it notes and paper clips wrapped around money. So I knew like what money was for what, like each week having budgeted things out. I don't know. So weird, right? Okay, so that was the front little zipper section. One more zipper section. I feel like this is wallet is like the cavern of wonders or something. It just keeps going and going and going. Um, oh, my god, I cannot believe what is in here. This is so shocking to me right now. See, this is right where the superstition jumps in. Oh, oh no. Oh my god. I have a bunch of little guitars, like little plastic guitars from the Hard Rock Cafe. Um, they're like the little picks that I always get cherries in my soda. So I think that's what like I just busted the little guitar tops off of like all the picks of cherries I had. And then they were like, there's like a couple bigger ones too. I don't know what these would have been in. Um, maybe like a cupcake or something like that. Who knows? Uh, we used to go to the uh, Hard Rock Cafe in San Antonio all the time on the river walk. I'm gonna show you guys the most shocking thing last because I can't even believe I just found this. Um, a 10% off American Apparel card. I don't know why I have a 10% off card. Um, another really gross looking receipt. Um, another Chili's gift card that says it has a $25 balance on the back. Ooh, I haven't been to Chili's in forever. Me and my friends used to go there all the time. We would get the bottomless thing of chips and salsa, and then we would ask for a side of ranch, and we would mix them together, which this sounds so gross. It's like, I almost want to try this now, but like when we were trying to eat on the cheap, like in high school and college, we would go there and we would just eat chips, 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 chips for hours, and we would like make our own special salsa. Does that sound disgusting? Does anybody else do that? I don't know. Oh my, I'm like scared to stick this into my computer, but I wonder what's on this. It's, does this say one gigabyte? Oh my God, what does that mean? This must have been for a phone or something. I have no idea, but for some reason I have a one gigabyte card. I don't know if I'm gonna be brave enough to stick this into my computer, but we'll see. I don't know what this is. Oh my gosh, a Lucky Brand receipt. I can very faintly, I'm trying to see if I can see the date. 7607. We have some um, tickets that are from the arcade. It's like one of my favorite little local arcades down here uh, called Putt Putt. It's like called Putt Putt Fun House, I think. And it's another thing that my friends and I used to do. We would just like go to the arcade and just like play games all weekend. So these are like some leftover, this is our earnings. I know I'm gonna have to take a break because the freaking camera is overheating. But the last thing that I found in here is my original ring that Dogman gave me a million years ago. And then like when we broke up for a while, like of course I didn't wear it anymore. It's so tarnished. Oh my god, I can't believe that I still have this. I thought I threw it out of a car window, but I guess not. Let's just open this one super quick. I don't even know if it's gonna have as much stuff. We're probably gonna get cut off, but whatever. So this is a Volcom wallet. 
I think I probably had this one after that one, so this one might not be as fascinating anyway, because it might have like more recent stuff in it. Oh yeah, there's like not much in here at all, honestly. There's like a penny. Wow. Uh, what year is the penny? 2010. And I have some receipts. And what is this? One cent drink card, only a penny? Oh, at Raw Sushi. So this place still exists and I actually really like it. It's one of my favorite sushi places in Houston actually. So there's also like this card as well. Um, get a free roll or appetizer with this card. So this expired in 2010. So I don't think that we're gonna be claiming these, these free drink things. I spat everywhere. And then there's just this back card section here. So in the front, I've got um, a Sam's Beauty club card. Um, then I have, oh, I don't even want to look at this. Let's see what's in here. Uh, oh my gosh, I have an old, old, old driver's license that expired in 2009 this was like my vertical one which i don't know if every state does that but texas um you have a vertical license plate until you're 21 vertical, vertical license plate vertical driver's license until you're 21 let me hide all of the important information but i'll show you guys my old driver's license picture oh boy i look like a little cute little newborn baby um then this is like the tag that it came with but it's not like the price tag must not saved it that time um okay let's see what's back here there's like nothing fun in here at all it's just like a temporary driver's license and some bank statements other people's business cards that i shouldn't just <laughs> like docs or whatever uh okay let me let the camera cool down for just a minute i'm gonna show you guys like any like cool cards that are in here Ooh, you guys i just had an experience so i guess the camera overheated like worse than it ever overheated before or the battery was just like super dead i don't know it said it still had like 40 percent on it like the camera was just overheating but the camera would not turn back on like we've been in here like swapping different kinds of batteries flipping the switch gently nudging the camera and finally it came back on. I hope I haven't lost all the footage that I've already filmed tonight. But see, this is how I get superstitious, you guys. I'm like, yeah, um, I'm overcoming my fears, diving into my superstitions, and then the camera won't turn on. Life, Earth, what is it? What is Earth? I forgot my own catchphrase. Anyway, um, there wasn't actually too many of the cards that I could show anyway because they were business cards from old friends that I don't talk to anymore, which I don't know if you guys ever like went through this fad with your friends, but me and my friends, like when we were like, I don't know why I keep wanting to say vice presidents. I mean to say juniors in high school. Well, when we were all vice presidents, it's like sometimes your brain just doesn't connect. Um, but when we were like all juniors, seniors on like through our first years in college, I don't know why my friends and I were so fascinated with having these little like bougie business cards. Even some of them have like AOL screen names on them, like MySpace pages, so crazy. So we used to always like find these different like printing services around town and like kind of have little competitions of who could have like the most like bougie looking business card, like foil stamped, like um, where you would like sign your name. I don't know, I wish I could show you, but I just like kind of, I don't know, I don't talk to these people anymore, so it's kind of weird. But like we would like autograph our name and then have that like, foil stamped into the front of like an all black business card. Kind of a long story that's maybe boring since I can't show you guys photographic proof, but what I did find is an old parts and labor business card. This is one of my favorite boutiques in Austin and this is their super old address on Congress. They are still on Congress, but they this shop has moved more than any other boutique in Austin ever. Like every couple of years, they like move to a different location. It's so crazy. Um, another Hot Topic like benefit card. I guess this one is a little more recent because it's not like a stamp card. It's like 
a swipe card. I wonder if, does anybody still have cards like this anymore? Like benefit or reward cards or cards you have to swipe? I mean, besides like a credit card, but the only place I can think of is like Dave and Buster's where you like load your game playing money, like on a little card like this. Um, a tiny old Starbucks keychain gift card. I wonder how old this is. Uh, 2009 is like the copyright. So probably sometime around there. I'll cover up Oh, the front actually doesn't have anybody's number on it, but this is so cool. It is a Moon River Brewing Company business card. I love this place in Savannah, Georgia so much. It's super haunted and it's like my favorite place to go eat in Savannah, Georgia. And if you live in Savannah or anywhere around that, I hope you guys are like doing okay with the hurricane. I know it's like possibly coming to hit you guys now and that's super scary. I know hurricanes are no fun. An old Savannah um, hotel card. I don't know what hotel this is because it just says stay in Savannah. I don't know. Um, another Starbucks card. This one's copy cop copywritten, cop copyrighted, 2008. So another really old one. Somewhere I had the Paul McCartney one. Um, it's so cool. It's supposed to be like actually like collectible. I've done this like a couple times in my life where I had like binders full of Starbucks cards, like collecting Starbucks gift cards. I don't know what happened to most of them, but I still have a couple of them. I'm, I probably have the Paul McCartney one still somewhere because it was like probably my all time favorite one ever. I don't remember why Starbucks collaborated with Paul McCartney, but it was kind of cool. And then the last thing is I'm pretty sure that this tattoo parlor is out of business, but this is where I got my first tattoo from ever. I got this in 2010, so heck of a long time ago. I remember that was one of my first videos that I ever made where I was like, oh my God, I'm going to get my first tattoo tonight. Ah. That's kind of fun that I still have that business card. So let me know if you guys enjoy this video, if y'all would like to see more of these, like oh, I haven't opened this thing in a million years. Because like I said, I have stashes of purses and probably other old wallets and God knows what else in my boxes of things that I don't part with. But see, it's a good thing I don't part with it because look, now we had fun. At least I had fun. I hope you had fun. But I had fun going through all of this stuff and now I'm gonna put it all right back. And I'm gonna put it back in the box where it came from because I'm still not getting rid of anything. I don't know. I hope you guys had fun in today's video. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me and for spending a little time for watching today's video. If you're not already and you'd like to be, uh, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Banana Pepper Squad today. And until I see you guys again, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see y'all again very, very soon. 